We are running water lines in the addition. It smells like pine saw. That's what it is, plumbing with pine saw, baby. And it's only half as hard as it looks. Trent is just full beaver. I'm full beaver right now. Full beaver. Still, things are getting a little crazy. I bet if I paid somebody to come in here and look at this, they couldn't tell me what's going on. <laughs> and we're trying to avoid any major catastrophes. Uh-oh. into the addition. We're not done with plumbing, we're done with drain lines. Now we've got to do the water lines. This should be the easy part. It's not as like tricky. Um, There's no glue. No, but we've got to do the oopinor and uh, <laughs> get into a lot of crappy tight spaces and drill a lot of holes, so. There's no crap yet. There's no crap yet. But if you're used to seeing me with hamster shavings all over me, then this is gonna be one of those videos. It's actually been quite warm recently. It's snowy and bright, but it feels kind of like springtime temperatures. Mid 40s, upper 40s, no snow in the forecast. Um, things are melting. It feels good. Yeah, dog. Good girl. Good prank. Yeah. Yeah, Lika. Hi, big boy. Yeah, he did a good job. Good morning. Hey, look at you. Is it perfect? It is perfect, actually. That's so funny. Nice. I'm taking the sled for a walk. That's what sleds are for. You're in a t-shirt. I know it's so nice out here. Hi, Lika. I know how to deliver. Come on. Hi, Lika. You want to come in, Frank? So I've been thinking, and uh, rather than trying to run our water lines through our little doggy door okay. in the crawl space, I think it'll be easier if we come up through the floor and then go through this rim board here after these stairs are installed. Or maybe before the stairs are installed. Trying to build stairs right now? I think we might build these stairs right now. Interesting. Which they're really small and should be pretty fast. Well, they're gonna get swoopy and complicated, right? Oh, they're gonna be beautiful. Very basic. Great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. Whenever we build stairs, there's always the trial run and then the actual run. So maybe we've done it recently enough that we don't need a trial run today. Um, but we'll see. It's not very confidence inspiring. Just trying to be realistic. A great start. So the simplest of all staircases. I don't even know if it's gonna work. That might work. We're about to find out. Alright. Mmm. Wow. How's he doing? I was like, no, we we're an inch low. Yeah. 
15 16 so it's supposed to be an inch we're off by a 16th and three stairs not a big deal if it was 20 stairs it would be a big deal by the end but with this amount of stairs it's perfect wow fastest stairs <laughs> ever well, we're not done we're just getting started yeah but now you just trace and replicate right yep that was the hard part do you hear the rain it's such springtime weather and so warm that even though there isn't that much snow on the roof, everything is melting and dripping. <laughs> All right. Made pretty quick work of that. We got all three of our stringers cut out. Uh, we just got to kind of test fit them on the wall, get our two two by fours cut that are going to go at the top and the bottom. Grab our nail gun and cut some treads and throw them on. This will be really quick. Cool. People just start talking like that when they have kids. What? I made a boo-boo. Yeah, yes. <laughs> well, for some reason our template was like a little bit off from front to back. This mm. way. Mm. And they're like perfect like that, but it's fine. It's not though, these are Oh that's out by a lot. Yeah, that's and that's up by a little bit. Can you that's just like trim this and this? That's just a little too long, right? Yeah, that's not how it works. Hmm. I basically need to pull this out and trim that little top piece, but I just nailed the crap out of it. <laughs> Just these three stairs. It's yeah. not like some 10 stair stringer that would take <laughs> freaking an hour to redo. So I'm happy about that. We're gonna go ahead and get this thing thrown together, make sure it's all squared up and perfect, get it nailed together, and then uh, start throwing our treads on. Not perfect, but it'll do. <laughs> um, cool. That bottom stair is closer to the ground. No, that's right. It looks shorter. It's a weird illusion. It's crazy. Yeah, it's like seven and five stinks. There's stairs. So that was the side show for today is getting those stairs installed. And now hopefully we can run our water lines up underneath that staircase and into the floor joists of the second story or the intermediate story. I don't know what that would be. Um, and then we don't have to go through our little doggy door crawl space with the water lines because that would be a pain in the butt. So I think now we can probably start getting out all of our water supply stuff and drilling some holes and running some water lines. If you're looking for the Vegas experience, but you don't want to actually make a trip to Vegas, you guys are in luck. We have actually partnered up with the Golden Nugget app, and they're giving you guys a special deal right now. Today's video is actually sponsored by the Golden Nugget, and if you guys know me, you know I'm a little bit competitive. I love games. I love winning, and if there's the opportunity to maybe 
come up a little bit, maybe win some money. That makes it even more interesting for me. Your first deposit can be anywhere from five to a thousand dollars and the Golden Nugget Casino app is actually going to match your deposit, which means if I was a new customer and I put a thousand dollars in my deposit, they're gonna add a thousand dollars to that and then I have two thousand dollars to go and play games and try and win money and have a grand old time. So if you're like me and you get amped trying to play games where you have the chance to win money and stuff like that, I'm not like a huge gambler, but I do enjoy it occasionally. And you wanna take advantage of this deal, you guys can click the link in our description and just be sure to use code Trent and Alley at checkout to get that deal on the match on the deposit. I wanted to say thanks again to Golden Nugget for sponsoring today's video. Now I'm probably gonna play a couple slots and then we're gonna get back to work. Good friend, David Spade. <laughs> I don't know. Where are you starting? What are you thinking? How are you feeling? We're just here in the main floor bathroom and I'm just trying to figure out where I want the water lines to come up. I hate doing this. I hate doing stuff that has like consequences, you know? It seems like that's everything. Everything we're doing has always got some consequences. <laughs> Are those still at the right height? And there's your sink. Yeah. Let's come back tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of excess pipe there, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it's okay, it's trimmed. Yeah. Smells like pine saw, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Plumbing with pine saw, baby. <laughs> All right, I'm really excited to be getting out one of my favorite tools that we have, and that is the Upinor Propex pipe expander gun. It's really cool. Instead of having to crimp or solder things together, you stick one of these little white rings on the end of your pipe, you spread it, and then when you stick it onto this fitting, the pipe is very elastic, so it shrinks back down to its original size, locks onto these little rings on here, and it never leaks. Pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> Some people might start at the bottom and some people might start at the top, but we are starting right in the middle. <laughs> and uh, we've got our strong arms for our sink and our toilet installed. We've got these two half inch pipes stubbed through this wall and over here for our tub shower combo in here. And we've got our main lines, part of the hot recirculating line, and then our main cold line coming up from the crawl space and going up to here. Uh, basically I need to do a hot water recirculating circuit that goes all the way around here, catches the two sinks, catches the tub fill, and catches the shower over here, and then it needs to drop back down and go back to the water heater. Uh, the cold needs to go up and then basically T, and it needs to go over and get the shower and then get the sinks and then the toilet and the tub finally over there. 
<sighs> you were worried about there not being enough pressure in our bathroom. Do you think that's going to be an issue? I don't know. I don't know. And is there any way to like help help the pressure? Run three quarter as far as you can. Yeah. As close to the fixtures as you can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean that's just that's more volume going through there. Yeah. Right. I don't know if reducing the pressure all the way down by the water heater uh -huh. and then running these three quarter lines all the way over and then all the way up and over here and the hot water recirculating line is going from the water heater up through our bathroom all through the entire house and then down and then all the way back over and then all the way up here. Mm. That will be the one I'm concerned about. Mm. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. All right. <laughs>
Let's get started. <laughs> I'm so excited to get four words. <laughs> this feels so right. Taking your sled for a walk? <laughs> this world gets easier with a reason and rhyme. And it feels so right. Yeah, I've been. Stairs are nice, huh? Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Push me down the hole. It is absolutely gorgeous out today, and I love the fast progress that is happening recently. It just feels like things are speeding up. Drains went fast. Plumbing, water lines is going fast. Soon we're going to be heading on to electrical then HVAC and then four way. <sighs> Trent is in here measuring the toilet because I don't know why. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm just trying to figure out how high I can make the water supply and if it can be in the center. And mm. It's nice we have a reference of I a mean, fully built bathroom to go off of. These are really unique toilets, but they're also really small in the back. So I like that. Mm -hmm. As you can see, we set our toilets pretty far forward and then there's this huge gap back here mm -hmm. so and you're trying to avoid that this time or? i'd like to use the same toilets because i really like these toilets but i want to scoot them back closer to the wall but that's for the drain that's already been done a while ago okay. now i'm doing the supply line i just got to figure out Heights. how high i can make it without it running into the tank and stuff oh, pig. it's donkey <laughs> We're making progress, baby. We just got to cap these half inch pipes up here and throw our strong arms on. And then uh, pretty much the plumbing supply lines will be done up here, except for the tub fill. That's going to be a mess all on its own, so we're saving it for last. You look so cute without a beard. I feel like in Ooh. the winter time. Hurt my chin. You're oh, you're bleeding. You are always hurt. Well, there's just a little spot of dried blood. <laughs> yeah, it's a cut. Trent has been going to jujitsu like every other day, almost every single morning. Um, he wakes up at five, he goes to a 6 a.m. class. It's a very long drive and he's been super committed for probably the last like six months. It has totally changed, you might not be able to tell in the videos, but it has totally changed his mental health for the better. Uh, but he's always hurt. He's always hurt pretty much all over his body. He's always hurt and he loves it. He was telling me the other day, uh, it's like his fight club, <laughs> which I don't know if that's a good thing or not, um, considering that was a pretty brutal movie. But uh, it seems to be working for him, and he's definitely getting a lot of physical and mental health benefits out of it. So as long as you don't hurt yourself too severely. Soon we're going to start making soap. No, it is not actual fight club. <laughs> Great movie, however. <laughs> We gotta leave one of the water lines open up here so that we can put a ball valve that has a fitting for a hose on the other end. Then we can connect that hose to this drain line that we didn't seal up. And then we can actually fill the system with water and make sure it isn't gonna leak. So you're saying in order to fill the system and test it, we have to drain the house too? Is that what you were saying? Well, in order to connect to the water lines in the house, you have to drain the water out of the lines in the house. Hmm. Probably not today. Only 10.50. All right, maybe today. Really not excited for this. Top of floor joist range. Thanks. Floor joist range? Or floor, finished floor oh boy. range. Everything is going really fast, most likely because these guys have done this all before. None, none of this is new, none of this is um, that unique, except we don't have a bathtub in our house, and we are installing a bathtub in this new bathroom upstairs in the addition. So this is the one aspect that is totally foreign, 
and I'm excited because I never really thought I needed a tub. I don't need one. It's a luxury, let's be honest, uh, but I am excited about it. But uh, it's a floor fill, is that right? It's a little bit complicated. It's just a special valve that you use for a tub filler that comes out of the ground. Mm. And uh, it's not that intense. Make sure she's level. The first rule of... <laughs> You're obsessed. <laughs> first rule of Fight Club is you don't talk about Fight Club. Is you read the directions. So we just realized that uh, one of our blocking joists is going to collide with our tub fill valve on that end. The only reason we were considering putting it over there is because Allie's left-handed, so it would have been nicer for her, but I think now the tub fill's actually gonna have to go on this side, and... It's fine. If there's a tub fill right here, or if there's a joist right here, I'm gonna be very upset, that's all I have to say. Kinda sucks that, uh, we're just making Swiss cheese in yeah. this edition, and we've drilled so many holes, big holes, that did not need to be drilled. <laughs> and we're trying to like put the little pucks back in the holes and like make it seem like it never happened. It's fine. Total amateurs. <laughs> we have so many seeds to sow. When the harvest comes. Where are you? Just right under where that fell. Standing in the corner. Look up. Right here. Are you alive? Barely. <laughs> To share what we have grown We were having the time of our lives when we started Perfect! It's not very low. Is it good or is it good? I don't know, but this is where being level is gonna be a problem or not, I don't know. But I'm noticing lately we've been half-hearted West Side Story, don't be afraid. Oh, did you almost fall backwards? No. Okay. Just checking my balance. Okay. <laughs> See if there's anything behind me. Just Brandon. Yeah. Okay. okay. Ah. Our tub filler might be a hair out of square, but that's pretty normal West around here. West Story, don't be pretty. West Side Story, don't be Yeah, imagine having to crawl through here. Yeah, imagine yeah, if it was like that other place. That would be terrible. Good boy. Trent is just full beaver. I'm full beaver right now. Full beaver. Yeah, I'll bet. Narrow streets and dusty roads I've lingered on for far too many years. Whoa. I need that. <laughs> yeah? It's mine now. All this place ever gave me was a boot upon my face when I was down. Give me back my liberty. I'll take my first step to where I'm found. Brandon asked if you were bleeding? Oh yeah, I just cut my finger a little bit. Nothing, nothing new. Okay. Nothing exciting. <laughs> I got all of the plumbing done, all in the upper crawl space. We've got it through the rim joists here, down through the floor, under the stairs, where no one will ever see it. And uh, now we just gotta get some insulators in there and then run the pipes through the floor joists over here. And then we've got to drill through the rim joist of the house and stub them into the basement where we can connect to the plumbing system. Scary. It's 1.30. Definitely gonna finish this today. All right, and now we switch to the basement. I'm not excited for this. Stay back. Wait, why? Because I gotta pull this insulation out. Uh. Ooh. 
Bonjour. But have you seen the sauna? Dang. <sighs> Can I just say, this was a fun project. Oh, and we have been thoroughly enjoying it. It's very nice in here. Whoa. Legit roasted marshmallow. But spray foam? Yeah. Huh. <laughs> this is literally the most impossible place to drill and it's a difficult process overall. But I think we can finish it and get it done. <laughs> you want a snowball a deck? Okay, you can stand right there. But that's all. What are you doing? I want to show a deck. Snowball the deck? Hey. Thank you. Hey. Whoa! <laughs> Look at you! Watch out. She got me! Woo! You got me! <laughs> you got me. Good job. Do you love your bike? Keep over. Oh no! Mom, I said. You're outside? No, Mama. It's... Okay, go. Lika outside. If you guys want water, you better get it now because I don't know if it's ever coming back on. Moment of truth. Could be dangerous. Could be dangerous. <laughs> the final piece to installing water lines in the addition. It's a mess back here, but uh, these are my drain valves right here. I've got both of these cracked so that they're draining the hot and the cold water out of the house and it's gonna drain the full system so that there's no pressure, no water in these lines so that I can cut them and tie into them and then uh, we'll be able to pressurize the addition if we need to. I'm putting valves on these so that I can shut them off so that I don't have to be pressurizing like water out into the addition and that way I don't have to worry about it freezing out there and compromising my system inside the house. So I'm gonna let this drain for a minute. Once the water stops coming out, I'll know that these lines are good and ready to be drained. And then, uh, yeah, Bob's your uncle will be ready to go. Contrary to popular belief, there's plenty of space to work back here in our mechanical closet. We just have it very full at the moment. <laughs> oh, here we go. Uh-oh. Got a lot of water coming out of there. You want another hat? Oh, you're good. I like that you used my construction hat. It's the closest one. Uh-huh, sure. Not happy. Huh! Where are you going? Just fell off of there. Off of your secure ladder? Yeah. <laughs> How could anybody fall off of that? <laughs> I bet if I paid somebody to come in here and look at this, they couldn't tell me what's going on. <laughs> All right, I'm not proud of anything of what that looks like. The fact of the matter is, it doesn't matter what it looks like. It's gonna function the same as if it was beautiful and pretty. The issue is I had to get like four different shutoff valves arranged in there so that I can turn some of the shutoff valves to let water out into the addition to pressurize that system. But when I shut those off, I still want my hot water recirculating line in the house to work. So I had to keep that line intact and put valves to shut that line off and then it was a mess. But the good news is we're done. And uh, we've got all this stuff tied together in here. The water is back on, water is not being uh, sent out to the addition yet because we still have fittings to do out there. But I'm done inside, so I'm gonna put my suit back on. I'm heading back out to the crawl space. We're gonna get our last fittings connected and then we're probably calling it a day. We've got all the pipes connected. All the fittings are on. Just gotta throw these two insulators in here and screw them in. And then we can basically test the system. But we're not doing that today. We're gonna put these two insulators in, we're cleaning up, and uh, we're calling it a day.
There goes my hero. <laughs> you know more of the words than I do. <laughs> uh, I don't even know who sings that song. I don't know, but you're my hero. I, don't, I, I abandoned ship. It was cold in the crawl space, running those water lines. I was like, nope. See you later. <laughs> well, you know, when the going gets tough. Yeah, the tough get out of there. The tough get going. <laughs> No, I think uh, we're actually making a lot of progress. Things are going really well. We got all of the water lines installed. I haven't tested it yet yeah. because it was going to be hopefully anticlimactic, but we didn't want to like have a mess at the end of the day. So yeah. in the next video, we're going to test the system and hopefully we'll be able to test the drain system as well and get everything figured out and hopefully we have zero leaks. That's where we have problems, the drain system. Yeah, that's always my <sighs> kryptonite. It'll be fun. Yeah. But anyways, I think we're getting ready for bed, so we are going to let you guys go. But if you guys enjoyed coming along on today's adventure, make sure you show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Thank you, guys. We love you. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.